Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Hopefully your dinner wasn't dangerous today on Christmas. I hope you had a good Christmas. Ours was, well, pretty uneventful. <laughs> but that's not a bad thing. I mean, une uneventful just means that it was a routine day of sorts. Yeah, you gotta time yourself to get through those things, otherwise you'll get squished. I'll take the fighter just for the fun of it, not that I oh, screw the fighter, I'm just gonna go through the door. <laughs> Um, I should explain a little bit more of what went on uh, yesterday, which is why I had the lethargic part of sorts. <laughs> um, the thing is, is that we celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve. I, I know it doesn't make much sense, but that's what traditions are for, basically. Tradition really doesn't make much sense in most contexts. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, each Christmas is still 365 days apart for us, so it's like, well, we aren't exactly opening gifts or celebrating it early, you know? <laughs> Uh, so it's not like it's anything special in that sense, it's just our family tradition of sorts. So that's why I had to make the part uh, yesterday. Ow, I did not do the right move there. Um, I had to make the part yesterday when I could make the part because, you know, I can't record as I'm spending time with friends and family. So what I ended up doing was I recorded that part. Um, like, before I went to sleep on Christmas Eve, because, you know, I stay up past midnight every day into the wee hours of the morning, so I was, uh, uh, it was, I was just, like, using that extra time that I had while everyone else was sleeping before the actual Christmas Eve celebration started and whatnot. Oh, Maximum, or Maxim Tomato. So, yeah, that's how things went down, basically, and why I was so tired, because I was recording on Christmas Eve and recording before I could, uh, um, you know, I, I wouldn't be stopped by anyone, so to speak, with, uh, well, I, I shouldn't say stop, because, you know, it's all, uh, fallen, I don't know what the heck I'm trying to say here, I, I just can't record, you know, on a holiday, because I'd rather spend time with friends and family, is what I'm saying, there we go, there, I knew I could do it, I knew I knew how to speak English, <laughs> Why am I taking so much time to get those ice cream cones? I don't know. Speaking of ice cream cones, how are they not melting in this environment? This is preposterous. Well, they, they say, you know, snowballs chance in... You, you know the whole phrase, but... Pff, that was terrible. That was just terrible. <laughs> but apparently, uh, snowballs have a good chance in this uh, lava-filled place. Oh, excuse me, nuclear marinara sauce place. Uh, anyway, let's continue on here, and I probably want you, because you're the first power that I get. And I believe these uh, rocks here are going to be cycling through... Uh, it's Wr. Uh, you're actually going to be kind of a problem with my ice power here, and with these moving floors. Because, yeah, it's going to, like, push me into you. <laughs> so let's... Uh, ah, no teleporting! Teleporting is bad! You're not allowed to move that fast. Eh. Eh. I was trying to, like, freeze it and then, you know, kick it at him, but you know what? Maybe I shouldn't be using the ice power. Perhaps I should just be, like, using good old star power as well as just throwing an enemies at him like so. There we go. And I'll get the spark power from him. <laughs> I love this power. It is and will always be my favorite. And Maxim Tomato. That's pretty nice. But what do I need spark for in this area. You know, whenever you see a boss, gotta take its power. Maybe it's for the next area, because I didn't see what I need. Or maybe it's just to have the extra spark power, because it's freaking broken. I don't know. <laughs> um, you can go under some of these lava meteor things. I don't know what the heck these things are. I mean, it looks like we're in space. So these, for all we know, may very well be suns. Uh, oh, there's a one up there, and there's also the wing power if I want that, but wow, how is Kirby not burning up being so close to this thing? <laughs> you know what, that one up, I, I really don't feel like taking more time to get that one up. I just want to get the energy spheres, <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, if you'd like, you can explore for more poop along this area, though I don't know why you'd want to look for poop. You probably want to look for food instead. Yeah, just saying. Anyway, I believe there is a door that I'm looking for. Uh, poet and didn't know it. Somewhere above, ah, one of these things. Yep, just like that. Now this is probably, no, I don't need the spark power for this. But it looks like I'll have unlimited tries to get through this. And, oh, I can hop on lava. <laughs> lava spouts, apparently. Lava is like a feral fluid or something like that that it's 
when it's acted upon with pressure, you know, it just, it acts as a solid rather than a liquid, and you know, otherwise it's a pretty volatile substance, I mean, a volatile liquid normally, or at least that's what you would think, or, I don't know, it's hard to, you know, test that sort of thing in science, you know, when lava melts most things, I mean, it's not, it's not like that we get these super-powered golf shoes like this in real life, you know, that we can protect ourselves from miniature suns or stars or whatever the heck these things are. It's just not something that we have as humans in our technology just yet. And I gotta break these blocks really quickly because I, I was gonna run out of my shoe. There we go. And, yeah, I still don't see any use for the spark just yet, but, well, of course the spark is always useful to have. I mean, come on, this is the spark power we're talking about here. But you know what I'm talking about, like as in a energy sphere collecting sense. Looks like I'm going to be guarding myself from the assault from above. And since I've got the spark power combined with this, it's going to be... Even if they get through, you know, if I make a mistake or something like that, they're still screwed because I can just use my spark to kill them as I go, you know, just by walking into them sideways. I am protected on all angles. Oh my god, 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 that's what I was looking for, and... Ooh, the spark is gonna really help in this area here, I think. Because I got these guys right here, the little scarfies. And you cannot lose this key. If you lose this key, you've lost the energy sphere that this door opens. I mean, the key opens, you know, the door to the energy sphere. Be very cautious as to how you move here, especially since you can't float. It says advanced platforming here. Well, okay, it's not that advanced. You just gotta plan ahead a little bit. You know, also it forces you to get a little bit ahead of that as well because of the fact that you would have got caught up in uh, that meteor star sun thing. I don't know what the heck these things are, but they're hot. You don't wanna touch them. And this might be a little tricky if I don't get ahead of it as well because those eels, super happy eels will be in my way. There's the door, there's the energy sphere, voila! Woo! There's also some stars if you're interested in stars. Who's interested in stars when this game gives you lives like crazy, you know? <laughs> then again, I guess a part of that is, you know, from the stars that you get the- Oh, I love this part! Oh, yeah! You don't, you'll notice that there was a boss down there, right? That was indeed a boss. A real deal boss, not a large version of an enemy. You will be raping a ton of bosses with the Ultra Sword, and it is so fun to do! <laughs> now you've got this guy here. Yeah, it just doesn't stand a chance. I suppose you could defeat these guys normally <laughs> if you wanted to, but it just doesn't make any sense to do so when you can have this much fun doing it. I believe once I destroy these, the floor below me will fall. Wah! That didn't really give much Prize, but oh well. Uh, and dang, this version of the song is awesome! Just another example of this game's great soundtrack. Moving on away from that, because you probably are super tired of hearing me talk about the soundtrack and how marvelous it is, and I missed the other one, but that's okay, because I'm practically invincible. <laughs> Just as long as I keep spamming this Ultra Sword. Bonkers? Yeah, you aren't even strong enough to stop me either. It's kind of sad, really. Um, over here, you want to be careful as to what you demolish before you move on, because you could get squished. Like, watch like that. You gotta plan like plan just a little bit ahead, not plan ahead completely, but just for some stuff like this when you're breaking pillars, just to make sure you won't get squished. Oh, and I managed to hit the sword guy down there. I forgot his name. Don't really care, I'm having too much fun destroying bosses left and right. You gotta admit, this is pretty awesome. And now, have you ever wanted to cut a volcano in half? Dream fulfilled! <laughs> and that is why Kirby is freaking awesome. Well, just one of the reasons why. And sure enough, there's a portal to the interim dimension. For the very last black and white place of doom. Oh, I didn't grab that up block below there. I was kind of weird. Uh, get it, get it, get it, quick, 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 quick. All right. A little worried that I would get hit by the miniature sun thing. I have no idea what they, what those things are called. They could be called a million different things. But I would like that hot dog. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> that was. 
quite the trap they had there, but it wasn't good enough, I guess. So I guess it wasn't that good of a trap. <laughs> um, that wall is very slow, so it's not all that pressuring, I suppose. So I'm gonna grab this and hope the best. Uh, that wasn't that bad, I suppose. Um, got a time. My shots. Uh oh. If I don't get this, I'm gonna be in trouble. Okay. And more hot dog. Well, maybe that, maybe that other one's like a stray bratwurst or something like that. Cause that, cause there was a hot dog that you know that didn't have a bun. There was a hot dog that did have a bun. And I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just trying to give them different names or something like that to differentiate the food. There's so much food in this game. Well, it's a Kirby game, so that makes a lot of sense actually. And break through it, please. Thank you. And get ahead of the wall. Also, thank you. And I have a feeling I should get ahead of this switch. All right, this thing is just gonna keep opening up as I go along. This is a pretty cool segment, I have to say. Everything just sort of separates as you're getting close to it, and everything falls apart. So there's actually no floor, but that's okay since you float anyway. It's just a cool area in general. Sleep power. Why do they keep giving me that? Anyway, I'm gonna grab the water, avoid the meat, because I don't need it. Here we go, another Sphere Doomer. Uh, this is gonna be a... Oh my! I was gonna say a pretty linear fight, but alas, that is not the case. We have two Sphere Doomers at once. I bet you've seen that coming eventually. Well, if you've played this game before. So, one Energy Sphere per Sphere Doomer, I suppose. Oh my. Oh dear. Gotta dodge their coordinated assaults, if at all possible. And this is going to... Oh, I wanted to do the up plus one move. That move right there, because that's that's pretty effective against the Sphere Doomer since they're above you most of the time. And voila! Oh, I guess that one held too. <laughs> nah, I'm sure the, whatever the one defeated last had the two. Anyway, maximum tomato, end of the stage is at hand, and we can move on to the final boss. Woo! Woo! Surfing down the side of a volcano! I bet you always wanted to do that. I know I did. And that is exactly how the inside of a volcano looks. Don't believe what science books tell you. Tells you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Those stars have nothing on me when I can move into three-dimensional space. Now watch this. Watch this. Oh yeah, press up on the little planet. You got yourself one of the classic Kirby secret areas. Follow the stars down below. I'm not going to bother getting every single star. This is just for fun to show it off. Kirby games always seem to have something like that on the last level, so be on the lookout for them. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm not going to try. Dang it, I tried. <laughs> I focused too hard on not trying, and that means that I was actually trying. Dang it! Ugh. Anyway, before I go over to the boss, I am going to go back over to the Star Cutter and see what Maglor has to say. Every single energy sphere in the game is complete, and I unlocked the final stage challenge in the game, the item challenge, and I was going to go in that door. That would not have went well. <laughs> Woo! I could actually just have pressed the plus button and then went back to the world map, but more fun to do it that way, I think. Lore Star Cutter, what do you have to say about my recent victory of 100% completion? Well, it's not 100% just yet. There's those special stages off to the right, you know, that had those um, special stages for different powers. Remember, I'm going to show them later, don't worry. Woo! Thank you very much. Oh yeah, bro hoof. Oh, never mind, never mind. Interesting. So there's a little more to this ship than we thought. Isn't that interesting? And that's why I came here to show you. <laughs> and the stages, if you want to play them now, are that way. If you don't recall. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to go over to the last boss. And I went in the wrong direction. 
<laughs> I was gonna go into that door instinctively. Anyway, here we go. Dangerous dinner. Woo! And I gotta climb up there again. <sighs> okay, it's not that bad. <laughs> here we go. Versus Landia. And what powers do we have to take it on? I think I'm gonna keep my water, actually. I mean, it's got this thing, and I think that'll be pretty handy for its moves. Alright, I'll just go with this. Wait, wait, what's, what's over here? I can't see completely because it's off-screen. Nothing! Okay. <laughs> Just so I had to make sure there wasn't, you know, something there for the fun of it. Oh dear. Let's do this! Well, Landia is your basic dragon. It spits fire, it charges at you, like so. Oh, it's actually gonna to tail attack that time. <laughs> but yeah, it's what you would expect out of a dragon, really. It, it feels actually a lot like Dynablade, at least until you knock its health down to half. And that's where things in this fight start to get quite interesting. You'll see when I get there. You see, Landia's got four heads, or at least, oh, what it seems like. It's also got, uh, apparently, Air Slash. Nah, don't, don't question that. <laughs> nope. Not gonna hit me. Nope. No siree. Maybe I should actually be using these stars to do more damage to Landia than, than with my power. Cause it feels like it's taking forever to use my power to hit it. Ow. <laughs> Why did I think I could suck those things up? I don't know. Do something that gives me a star. Well, that works. Four heads? Well, kind of. Four dragons. And they shoot like so. Just want to take their little stars and shoot them back at it. This would definitely be a ton easier with the spark power up, obviously, because I could just shoot through a bunch of them at once. But, hey, what doesn't the spark power-up break, seriously? <laughs> and as you can see, they got you gotta kind of predict based on their face, facing direction of where they're going to be moving. All in all, their moves are pretty predictable. The boss isn't that hard, and it's gonna be doing oh hot potato dealio thingy here. And eventually it's gonna burn out. Well, not exactly burn out, it's gonna, you know, stop moving and not really all that hard to dodge if you're just running along the ground and jumping. And now it's gonna come down from above. Oh, that was a little too late to dodge that. I knew it was coming, but I failed anyway. And that's probably the worst kind of fail too, when you know something's coming and you just don't dodge it anyway. <laughs> Give me powers of stars. Ow. Should have been floating instead, but that's okay. Oh, come on! There's like a sliver of health. You're seriously gonna make me fight for that tiny sliver of health? And can't, I can't even see it on the bar. Can you see that on the life bar? I can't see that at all. And eventually they'll rejoin after a little while. I'm just showing you all of its attacks, basically, to... Yeah, that's my purpose of, you know, taking this long to defeat it. No, of course not! <laughs> I'm just kidding around. You're gonna sp oh, you're not gonna split. You're just gonna do the yield. Oh, it was a little bit too early there. That was my fault. That was my fault. But alas, Landy has defeated. The game is finished. We can all sleep easy now. Woo! What's that shiny, beautiful crown? How's it going? Why is there sinister music? There's definitely something special about that crown. Uh oh. Oh dear. I don't have a good feeling about this.
What? What? Look at King DDD. <laughs> Betrayal! Ah! That happens a lot in Kirby games nowadays. 